ordinary people like you and me, artists and academics, boycotted apartheid South Africa. Some governments, especially in the so-called West, called those who resisted this crime against humanity as terrorists. Ronald Reagan and Margaret Thatcher called Mandela a terrorist. But 40 years of racism came to an end and tumbled into dust. Today, the Palestinians are called terrorists in Washington. Israel is the victim, says the shameless woman, Nikki Haley, the US ambassador to the Union, to the UN. Shameless she is. So my dear comrades, take heart from this. It doesn't matter that the apartheid army was the strongest on the continent. It is the collective power of ordinary people marching all over the world that will also eventually bring apartheid Israel with its fourth strongest army tumbling into the dust, inshallah. Apartheid Israel sold the fraudulent so-called peace process with a promise of a state for the Palestinians on 22% of historic Palestine. Yes, 22%. It was a fraud, a big lie to get the Palestinians to disarm and give up their resistance. So if there is no two-state solution, then the only solution is a one-state solution. Do we agree? Yes. Say it again. Yes. The South African solution. Say no to the racist, colonialist project of Zionism. We shall overcome, inshallah. Amandla. Viva Palestine, viva. viva! Palestine, we feel your pain. Amandla. <laughs>